my sweet friends and welcome to DIY with Nadia. I hope you all are having a beautiful day. Today I'm sharing my top five wreath techniques using the six inch deco mesh that I buy at the Dollar Tree. In this video, I will show step-by-step -step instructions of how I made each of the wreaths, but not the decor. If you want to see decor, I will link all the videos in the description box below in case you wanted to make any of the wreaths that I'm going to show in this video. I love chatting with you guys. In the comments below, please let me know which wreath technique is your favorite. If you're not subscribed to DIY with Nadia, please subscribe, hit the like button, and don't forget to hit the bell so you know when my videos are posted. I usually post on Wednesdays and Sundays at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, and sometimes I have videos in between. Now, let's get started on our wreaths. We're starting with a 14 inch metal wreath form from the Dollar Tree, 24 pipe cleaners, and these are 12 inches, and also five rolls of the green deco mesh from the Dollar Tree. And this deco mesh is six inches by five yards. So when buying Dollar Tree deco mesh, make sure that this is nice and smooth, that you don't see fraying on the ends of your deco mesh. You want to see how this is because sometimes you can tell how bad it is just by seeing how like frayed and ugly it is on this side. As you can see, this one is fairly nice. So I do pay attention when I get my rolls like that. These pipe cleaners or chenille stems are actually from the Dollar Tree. And what I do is I buy a whole bunch because they do come in packs of different colors. You have like gold and silver, red, green. And what I do is I separate all the colors and I'll buy like five packs at a time. I'll separate the colors and that way I have green when I need it, gold, silver, and red. So I'm going to divide this in three. Since this is 12 inches, you're going to need four inch strips. And that's going to be plenty for what we need. And then I'm just going to cut all of these into four inch strips. Now let's go over the basics of our deco mesh. Our deco mesh is six inches in width and five yards in length. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut our deco mesh into 12 inch strips. That's going to give us 15 bows per roll. This wreath form consists of six even sections. We are going to be doing 12 of the little bows in each section so 12 times 6 gives us 72 bows if we're going to use five of these rolls we're going to have 75 bows so that's more than enough giving you three left over that you can put anywhere you want i'm going to start cutting and i like to use this rotary cutter you can use whatever you want you can use scissors and here we go just 12 inch strips all five rolls. When you cut the deco mesh, it kind of tends to curl up on its own. So I just let it curl and I just kind of wiggle my fingers right here until it is overlapping about an inch, inch and a half. You really don't want to go any further than that. I'm going to hold it on top bring it down smack in the center with one hand i'm going to be keeping it nice and tight on top right here with the other hand i'm going to just walk it up right where it's overlapping then i'm going to turn my bow over this is my smooth end or it's going to be our top end so i'm going to grab my chenille wire fold it in a little V and then put it right here so that when we're tying our chenille wire, we're tying it in the back where all that little fraying is and it's hiding. So on top, nice, smooth, absolutely zero fraying. 
and all the endings are either right here and is kept really tight with my chenille stem and then on the inside of the bow right there so you can't even see it because it's on the inside and that is it our bow is ready to go grabbing another strip I'm just walking my little strip until I get to about an inch to an inch and a half overlapping bring it down hold it tight with the other finger overlapping and we're just going to bring it together grab my chenille wire make it into a V there you go and this is my smooth end this is the center of my little pipe cleaner and this is the back we're going to give it two tight twists it is good to go a perfect little bow I got my wreath form I got all my sweet little bows and there's a little bit more on the sides here everything didn't fit in here now it's time to put our little bows onto our wreath form if you don't have enough I have done these wreaths where I had basically three of these rolls fill in four of these and I'll insert that video in the description box and it works so well but this time we have plenty of ribbon plenty of our bows so we're going to do six and six and fill this up really nicely and it's going to look like a green christmas wreath for this wreath i'm going to be using row two and three row two right here and i just like to zigzag them because of the way they fit and i'll just go two three two three and then it'll start filling in nicely and they'll start grouping nicely just keep on going and here is only one section just one little section look how full and fluffy it is and then in the back that's why I keep them at four inches because they're enough to make the little bows and to put them around because otherwise what are you gonna do so I just kind of bend them in half in the back just in half and then fold them back so just like it is fold it in half and then back and that way it's nice and clean and if you're going to sell this it's not going to scratch your customers um, or your friends or whoever you're making this for. Um, you know, doors or walls or wherever they're going to put this. I'm all done and look how clean that is. Nice and clean, nothing sticking out, nothing scratching. This is beautiful and full. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take the rest of my pretty bows and start filling in the rest of my sections. to start with four rolls of deco mesh and this is the new one that I've seen at the Dollar Tree and it's this ivory with some gold in it very elegant and then we're starting with 18 of these pipe cleaners so the magic number for today is 18 we're going to be doing pretty much everything in 18 because we're going to have 18 connections on our wreath form before we get started let's go over the basics this is a 14 inch metal wreath form from the Dollar Tree and it is 14 inches in diameter it has six sections 
in each section we're going to put three of these pipe cleaners here's one section right here we're going to put one pipe cleaner on the second row and I count my rows from inside out and I'm just going to find my center and give it one twist in row three we're going to put two on both sides of this middle one and that's it we repeat this process in all of our sections and then we are ready to attach our deco mesh so as you see one in the second row and in the third row we have two just like this all of my pipe cleaners are on my wreath form now it's time to unroll my four rolls i'm going to be unrolling them where they're rolling in because we are making loops so let me just layer them okay i have my four rolls just stacked one on top of the other and now i'm just going to gather it about an inch in there are two ways you can go about attaching the deco mesh. You can start from the outside and make your loops on the outside. And when you come to the last one, you hop on over to the middle one and then go all the way around. I like working from inside out because when it comes to locking it in at the end, it's just easier to work on the side of the wreath versus uh, trying to kind of work on the inside. That's just how I am. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on row two. That's my inner one. And then every nine inch loop, I'm going to attach. And then when I come to the last one, I'm going to hop on over to this one, not the next one in here. I'm going to hop on over to this one and then I'm going to go all the way around and complete the wreath itself. All right, let's start. I'm just going to open it up about an inch in. I'm going to bring it in and I'm going to give it two good twists. I want to make sure it's nice and secure. But then I am also going to grab a zip tie and attach it with a zip tie. I'm going to do this in the beginning and also at the end just to make sure my wreath is secured really well onto my wreath form as I said we are attaching every nine inches so here the white square the white middle square is eight inches we're going to add one more and I'm going to do nine so I'm going to go from the white and as you can see all my deco mesh is rolled in this way and it's all facing the same way and so our loops are going to be beautiful so starting with the white I go to the white and then one more square to take us to the gray and then that's going to give me nine inches and I'm going to make my first loop I'm just bringing it down and then two twists the next nine I'm going to repeat this process all the way around on row two and then we'll move on to row three together here we go last loop in row two and we're putting it right on top of where we started and that'll complete our row nice and tight there and just do two twists okay and now we're moving on to row three this is where our attachment is and we finished and here's our little section and of course we have two of our pipe cleaners in row three we're not going to touch them we're going to move on to the next section and take this first one in this next section this is going to keep our loops more on the even side so let's get our nine inches right here and then I'm moving on to this third row right here. Now I'm just going to go all the way around just like I started and we're going to do two loops in each one of the sections. Okay, I went all the way around and I have one loop to do. This is the one that's behind 
where we started and finished. And look at this. This is what's left. And I'm telling you, if you do nine inches, it's going to be perfect. So let me get my last nine inches right here. Very, very exciting. And I'm just going to put it in here. And then I'm going to cut off my tail, grabbing another zip tie. I'm just going to zip tie it right there to row three. So this is how it looks from the back. There's our beginning. We went around, went in row two, and here we finished. Look how beautiful this is. So I usually put the ribbon on and then I fluff it out. But today, I don't know why I want to fluff this out. It looks so beautiful as it is. So I'm just going to go in and just kind of open up my rows here. And just start fluffing it out before we put the finishing touches on it. When I fluff these, I don't go from the top because I don't want to catch on anything. What I do is I take the bottom one and kind of push it down. So I push it down and kind of right there. I push it down and pull it out. And I found that there's much less, you know, tagging on things and fraying when you do that. So just start with the bottom one and push it down. Look how these are filling in. I mean, if you wanted to, as long as you hide these in the back and just fluff out these sections, I'm telling you, you could have a complete wreath right there. You don't have to go further. That is how much volume these four rolls make. And it's just, it turns out so beautiful. I came up with this method. Now, I don't know if anybody else did it before me because, I mean, it's not like it's something complicated here. But I was just so desperate to find 21-inch mesh and to do this method. So I decided, I'm like, okay, you know what? I'll just use the 6-inch mesh, layer it on, and have the same effect. And I think it's even better because this actually is 24 quote unquote inches of um of deco mesh in each loop versus the 21 so in retrospect it turns out even fluffier and i've even done uh, wreaths where i had three instead of four turned out fine but on that one i did have like ribbon in between just like i'm going to have on this one but i'm just saying it's possible if you only have three rolls of a certain thing, you can definitely try to do this wreath and it's just, it's going to be beautiful. are making a really fun summer wreath and we are using some leftover Christmas and Easter uh, deco mesh from the Dollar Tree so I'm using red white and this light blue you are going to need two of each then you are going to need this 14 inch metal wreath form from the Dollar Tree. I use this little board because I like my loops to be eight inches. Also, you're going to need some pipe cleaners. I like to use zip ties either for the whole wreath or at least for the beginning and the ending so those are really nice and secure. But that's up to you. You can still use the pipe cleaners for that also. I'm going to show you the piece that kind of got those colors started. I saw this, I was like, ooh, red and white and blue. That might be really unique. 
And so that is why I chose those colors. But I got this little board from the Dollar Tree. I think it's really cute. We are going to uh, decorate it just a tiny bit and secure all that glitter in place a little later. I'm going to start with my pipe cleaners and I'm just going to cut them in half. When I usually do curly wreaths or something like that, that it, like I'm dealing with small one or even the Nadia Technique wreath, I'll insert that in the description box. I usually take my pipe cleaners and cut it into one thirds but uh, for this I want um, I want to be a little bit more comfortable because we're going to be layering the mesh when I unroll these as you can see it's kind of unrolling down not up so just kind of push it down and then let that go I'm going to take the next one put it right on top We're going to just give it an inch, inch and a half, and bring it in. Grab your zip tie. I really encourage using a zip tie at least for the beginnings and the endings. I'm going to push it in between the second and third row. And I'm going to zip tie it in place. And when I zip tie the first one, it's only going to it's going to be on this intersection, but it only in one row because I want to make sure that it's really, really secure. <laughs> I tied it right here and I just tied it on this intersection, as you can see right here, because when I'm going to make the other loops, I'm going to tie them around both the second and the third row, but any endings and, um, you know, in beginnings of rolls, you want to tie it to um, a single row. To get started with my loops or my bubbles, we're basically making a bubble and the bubble goes up. And that is why this is called the bu bubble method. So I'm going to start at one, go to eight inches right here, bring it together, bubble it up, and we're going to connect it. Okay, so here are the numbers you need to remember. Each one of our bubbles is going to be eight inches long. And in each section, there are six sections in this wreath, there's going to be six bubbles. Usually a roll is enough for half of the wreath, so three of these sections. So here we are, I have one section finished. I'm going to like make sure all of these are very nice and tidy afterwards, but I have six loops right here and I'm going to move on to the next section. I'm just securing the bubble in place with a chenille wire or with a pipe cleaner. I'm done with half of the wreath, plus I did two loops or bubbles in the following section. But now I'm going to cut it off and I'm kind of generous with this. You want to give it like two, three inches. You can always cut off the excess later. And then let me start this part and we're going to overlap this together for a nice secure connection. Going to bring it together and I'm going to put this one on the inside and basically we're going to crisscross them you see and then around the third row or the second one it doesn't matter uh, just put a zip tie through it and tie it down Now, if you feel like it's too much, too extra, you could either shove it down or cut it off. I know that it's really tight with my zip tie, so I don't mind cutting it down just a little bit more. And we're just going to hide this part when we open these two sections up. 
Well, this should show you that not all deco mesh from the Dollar Tree is created equal. So this is how much of the blue that's left. Let me see here, because I have one more loop that I'll be doing. So basically, this is how much of the blue. This is how much of the red. So pretty significant amount. And this is how much of the white. I'm like, really? I could have made it fuller and add added extra loops but I mean I have enough loops I did you know more than enough but I'm just you know I'm like that stinks so we, I'm getting my eight inches right here and I'm going to cut the excess off <laughs> there you go I'm trying to do it with my left hand is a little awkward here I'm ambidextrous but I don't cut with my left hand though there you go. Leo, you're not making things easier for me over here. As you can see, I have security to my left over here. My supervisor. All right, we're going to bubble it up. And I'm first going to just shove it down. Just kind of pull it through. I'm sorry, I hit the camera stand over here but i'm going to pull it through and i'm going to crisscross it just like i crisscrossed on the other side and by the way you can't even leo thank you you can't even tell almost where it is but it's like right there but i'm going to crisscross these and attach it The next thing I'm going to do is to open all of these up. And the way I do it in this situation where I have three different colors and things like that is I'll uh, really just take turns where the colors are going. So if I'm starting with blue, then I'll go to white here. The red will be in the middle and the blue will be on the other side. And just kind of alternate them. Here's what we are going to need to start our ruffle wreath and the first thing we're going to need is a 14 inch uh, metal wreath form from the Dollar Tree then we are going to need some chenille wires uh, or stems and then we are going to be using six rolls of deco mesh from the Dollar Tree because this technique is new to uh, a Dollar Tree wreath I am going to be giving you some new measurements each deco mesh roll from the Dollar Tree is five yards and this is obviously the six inch roll. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it into 22 inch strips. And when you do that, you should have eight of these uh, elongated strips per roll. All right, so I'm going to cut all of my mesh up and then we're going to make little flowers. And this technique, I promise you, it's kind of like the curly one, but it's like, oh, it's not even half the time, it's even more, because this is going to be a quick and easy wreath. We're not cutting this into six inch strips after all, we're cutting it into 22 inch strips so that that'll tell you right there that it's going to take you way less time to roll all these i will be right back you guys the next step is to grab some of our chenille wires and i'm going to be folding these in half and i like to use wire cutters we're going to unfold each roll but the roll i wanted to fold inside see how it's rolling naturally on the inside i'm going to put a piece of scissors or something so it doesn't roll up so i can work on it and then here is what we're going to do we're going to make one little roll that's it i made one little roll and we hid all that loose 
um, mesh, I guess, on the inside. And then as soon as I have my little roll, I'm just going to bring the mesh together. And I'm just kind of like an accordion kind of thing and bring it together. Now, I'm not going to bring it together to the end. Towards the end, I'm going to let this piece also roll in. And as soon as I have a little roll, I'm going to bring it together. So we're kind of hiding both endings of it. Then we're going to grab our little chenille wire and I'm bringing it together. And what I do is I like to go from the bottom up and then I twist, okay? And we have our little kind of flower or whatever you wanna call it. If you wanna fast forward, that's fine, but I'm going to show it one more time. We're going to roll, make a little super roll, little scissors where they belong, and then we're just going to bring them together. Bring it together. We're making the pretty little ruffles right now. We are just wreath experts at this time. I'm telling you, you guys, this is so easy. You'll be like, oh, Nadia, I can do this with my kids. And this is my hardest part, is trying to make that last roll. So there you go, I got my roll. Bring it in. We got my chenille wire. Right like that, and then bring it up. And just twist it nice and tight in the back. I have my flowers all set and ready to go. I'm going to put four flowers on the second row and four on the third one. So we're using just the two middle rows of the wreath. And just to make things simple, it's going to be nice and full. I have tried this before with seven on each one. It's just not full enough in my opinion, but it's all up to you. I will be doing four on each of the middle rows. As you're doing this, still zigzag it. Uh, go from top to bottom, top to bottom, meaning third row, second row, third row, second row, just because the way these flowers are going to be coming together. And this first one, it doesn't matter because this one's still kind of loosey-goosey over here. But as the wreath starts uh, filling up, you will see that that's important to do that because it's just uh, going to fill up the wreath really nicely and you know you're not going to have too much here or too much there it's just going to go here like this and just get filled up really nicely okay we're, we're, we can take care of the tails later but this is one roll of deco mesh and look how full it is you don't have too much sticking out like you do in the curly wreaths. Don't get me wrong, I love my curly wreaths, but this is easier and you have these beautiful waves on here. And I just think this is so beautiful. And we'll figure out how we're going to decorate it towards the end. Right now, I'm just going to go ahead and fill the rest of this wreath up. And as I go along, since this one we kind of finished at the bottom here, I'm going to start at the top because I want to continue with that consistency of keeping it nice and even as we are going along. All right, you guys, and that fast, look at this. I did already three sections of the wreath. This was so, so fast. And so it's coming together really, really nicely. For this wreath, I'm starting with a heart wreath form from the Dollar Tree. 
Then I'm going to start with four of the white deco mesh and two of these, um, I don't know, I call them snowflake one, the ones that have the little white pieces throughout. But I am going to put these on the side for now. And we're going to do the basic curly Q over here. And I usually do six to seven inches. So my six inches is right here. And I just cut it. And then when I have three, we're going to put it together. All right, so I cut a little bit of the deco mesh and I just kind of, that's how I keep it before I start curling it. And I am going to use chenille wires and these are just white ones from Hobby Lobby, but you can also get them at the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna fold those in half. They cut fairly easy. And here we go, I'll grab three. And I'll do my first curl. And I've done this differently. I've done it where I would curl it and put it in a paper clip. I've done it where I would curl it and put it in some sort of, you know, clothespin or something. But I have been using my fingers for the longest time. I just, you know, I, I find it it's the easiest and fastest. Okay, I got my three curls and I just crisscross them. Grab a chenille wire, pull it through, and when I tighten in the back, I really just really tighten it. I put my finger right here and kind of twist it over my finger. That way it brings all of this together, and I know it's nice and tight. Okay, let's do another one. So I'm going to continue and make a lot of these. Uh, basically, I'm going to make four packs of these and I'm going to be doing the same thing, cutting them and then making bundles of three. And just like I did, I'm going to crisscross them and then just time off with half of the chenille wire. Okay, so I have all of my little bundles made up. And now I have the heart wreath. And I'm going to be putting my bundles on this middle ring and the outer ring. And I'm not sure how many I'm going to need. I'm just going to just start putting them on. And I will tell you at the end how many I ended up using because I make a lot of these wreaths but I've never made it on a heart form so it's a little different because all my sections are not the same they're all different so I think in this instance it's just better to give you a kind of like a grand total Okay, the last one I am going to put on the corner, which is on actually the first one because I kind of wanted to go in a little bit. So instead of putting it on the second and third, I am putting this last one on the first. And just so you guys know, I used up actually six rolls. Now, if you don't think it's full, that's fine because we are using the edge or the last row. As you can see, all my curls are going in, but when you hang this wreath, all of this is gonna go out and it's going to get filled. Do you see what I mean? 
it's going to get nice and full once you hang it up and a look at this so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to put this on the side now we're grabbing this decorative mesh and once again I'm just going to cut into six inch strips and by the way you guys the ro rotary cutter for this mesh specifically is amazing it works so well mine's just old and it starts popping up while I'm using it but I've had it for years and years and years but if you have any suggestion for me to buy a new rotary just let me know because I would love to get a new one all right so I'll be doing this for the rest of the mesh and then what I'm going to do is grab more of my chenille stems and I'm going to cut them in half all right so I have my little chenille wire and what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect and kind of like make a little bow pull it up and twist before I bring it together I wanted to show you that there's really no right or wrong way to do this there is no edging on the edge right here and there's no edging you know obviously where you cut so it doesn't matter how you bring the bow together which way just bring it together scrunch it in the middle and just do a little twist do the little pom-pom and that is going to go in between our curly mesh on the breathe All right, you guys, I have all of these little bows made up. So the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to put these in between the two rows that we made. So I'm just going to go from the bottom. I'm just going to just wiggle my way in, grab the little bow. And you can attach it to whichever See, and you can maneuver here whatever, wherever you want it to go. It doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, because these curls are kind of all over the place. And I just want this to be towards the middle. And then just attach it to whichever you want. I'm going to attach this one to the outer edge over here, to the third row from the inside. And that's it. It really doesn't matter where you attach it because of all these little snow things it'll catch on it'll stay in place for sure and so far i have that and i'm just going to go all the way around